So we're living in Sydney for a couple of weeks. I have no idea of the riding around here. I've been told the roads are pretty terrible for riding. There's a few bike paths down south, near the airport. So I've got the Garmin 820 and the Wahoo Element side by side on the handlebars. I've got a map, I'll show you where I'm trying to head. We'll see how the two hold up head to head on a Llama Gets Lost tour of Sydney. So here's the plan. Uh, we're on Kent Road or thereabouts. There's the airport here. I'm gonna see if I can get myself to, on the bike path down here, down here, over there and out to the Cape. Strava heat maps indicate that it's a pretty popular route. So we've got we start in here somewhere, around the top, down the bay, over the bridge, and away we go. That's the plan. I mainly get here, or here, or here. So the bike config today, Wahoo Element, I believe it's called Lattice Firmware, Garmin 820 Lattice Firmware, got the GoPro Hero Session on the front. So the plan is just to have it to map mode to see if I can navigate my way around. I've also got the iPhone as well so I can pull that out and have a look at the Google Maps bike lanes. They mark them in green. Very, very handy. I will initially on the way down, I'm going to aim for just using the maps as a visual tool to navigate my way down. On the way home, I'll see if I can navigate back to start on both units and we'll see if they battle each other. So I'm lost already and I've done probably 50 meters. I can't get this to point north, uh, you know, sort of where the direction I'm facing. It's always north up. This one is in the direction that I'm heading. So settings, there's location, indoor, outdoor. Forget phone, system info, there's no. There's setup, but it's not what I want. Again, next to a waterway, I find it quite difficult with, well there's the iPhone there, which has got some pretty good navigation on it. 820, then the element. You can see there, there's no color to really differentiate the river. Whereas it sort of is here, it's more natural I think with the color. That's my preference. But what's getting to me is the, um, the no, that always being north on the element. I've got to go and Gonna jump on Google now while I'm out here and see if I can switch that around because once the, when you're actually pointing the same way or once you're pointing north, the maps aren't too bad. They're very usable. But when you're starting spinning around the other way, you're heading south and this is heading north, terrible. cracking me that the element is pointing north all the time and when you're squealing around bike paths you sort of want to know which way to turn next and you've got to do the recalculation in your brain so I've pulled over I'm gonna jump on Google now to see if there's any keystrokes I can go on the element to have it point the direction that I'm going see how we go Look, even, even Google Maps isn't doing that well um, following the locals just then so much better always the way to go right, I'll jump on Google see what I can find Okay, we have a winner. I found it. It's within the app itself and I can't do it on the head unit of the phone. It was within the app. There's quite a few other settings here. So whilst it's good it's got the option, um, I would have really liked to have been able to do it from the head unit without having to pull my phone out. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's ride on with that.
maps now rotate. So my quality of life has improved for two reasons. First one, I'm at the beach. The second one is that this map orientation thing that I've just figured out via the companion app is brilliant. It makes the maps a whole lot better on the element. So for a start there, I was, uh, yeah, the element was getting one out of 10 in my books. It was <laughs> quite frustrating actually. Um, and even on that, I wanted to go into this review blind and just pull it out of the box and do what most people do. And I'm sure people are watching saying, Llama, it's on the bloody app. Just, and everyone else knew where it was except me. But I think I'd rather have that option within the unit itself without having to pull out the, hang on, bridge. My preference would be to have it both on the head unit itself and on the phone to select. Because it was quite frustrating. If my phone had been flat or I hadn't got the phone with me or I hadn't paired it. Whereas most of the, I think pretty much I think all of the options with the Garmin you can do on the unit itself. It takes a few fingery gymnastics moves to get it sorted, but it's all pretty much contained within the unit. But the maps now they're orientating the right way. Not bad, let's have a look. I'm trying not to ride into the water here either because it's quite close. I'm doing all right. So now the maps are both with the same orientation as we'd expect. They look very similar and both very usable. So I'm 20k south of where I started from. I'll call it a day from there and start heading back. Time to check out navigation. Now even the Google Maps had trouble with navigation on the way down here. Didn't really know all the bike paths. There's just bike paths snaking everywhere and walk paths and roads. So it was a bit confused. We'll see how both of these go head to head on the way home. Let's uh, give it a shot, I guess. I want to route home. I can. So there's no routing. Synced. Synced. No route set up in Stra. Okay, I've got to pull the phone out again for that one. Let's. Back home. Yeah, look, the touch screen on this. That was. Terrible. Okay, navigation. I have pressed it. Back to start. Like this thing is just simply not responsive. If you're looking at that, that is along the same route. 19 point, yeah, 20 k's home. Cool. Okay, so we're finally there without the frustration of the menu system here, it actually looks like it's going to work. I can't, it's just unusable. That is simply unacceptable if you're trying to go anywhere. It's okay if you're trying to make a video for YouTube and you've got all the time of the day. Well, speaking of time. Okay, I'm back, and I'm still grumpy. The answer is for the Wahoo Element, I have to sign up to ride with GPS service and pair that and log in, and I don't have time to do any of that out in the road here to test this. Um, the Garmin took five minutes or more to reroute me back home, and it's now putting me on the road up here with the trucks. So look, I think I know my way around most technologies, but right now, after having the issue with the Wahoo Element and ride with GPS, I've got to sign in and sign up for that and link it and no, too hard. I'm, I, I'm not going to do that at all. And the Garmin taking five minutes to reroute me back home. Again, I felt frustrated. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I don't need to read manuals. These things should be intuitive. 
That's over a thousand dollars, probably twelve hundred dollars worth of head units sitting on here, and neither of them can take me home. I've got the iPhone sitting here; it's going to help me out. But what's the state of these things? Is that the current state? Is that where we're at with head units? The majority of the time, I just use these to record ant data and Bluetooth data, and they work fine for that. You get fit files, and I use them all the time. But now I've tried to extend it and use that extra technology or func extra functionality. It's terrible, terrible. Is that what everyone else is having trouble with as well? If anyone else is having the same issues or has the same functionality problems, let me know below. I feel like an absolute beginner when it comes, comes to setting these things up. All right, the sun's out. I'm on my bike, so it's not all bad. I've got my phone so I can get home. All right, let me know below. Let's have a chat about this. It won't be the last video I do on this. To be continued.